So Pokemon Legends Arceus, Hisuian Snow just released the second episode to the web series and it was honestly a pretty darn good episode. Let's get the technicalities out of the way. This episode was well produced, the easter eggs to the games are present, the art and animation are leagues ahead of the journeys anime, kudos to Wit Studio and the entire staff. Also the pacing and storytelling is done subtly but also in a manner that is very intriguing. This is how a Pokemon story can be done when it's not geared primarily to a young audience. Anyways, let's talk about this episode, Fiery Reflections in Snow. The episode begins where we left off, with Alec and Hisuian Zoroa falling off a cliff. After recovering from the fall, we can see Alec injured pretty severely on his leg. With Alec dead set on returning to the top of the cliff, he begins his arduous climb, but not before extending his hand out to Zoroa. And I loved how this was done. You could see the internal conflict in both Zoroa and Alec as both were taught to avoid the other species growing up. In this situation, however, they threw their nurtured values aside and helped one another to scale up the cliff. Talk about nature versus nurture. The execution was done superbly and being able to understand this implication was very rewarding. Also, both of them are just so precious. Like, come on, seeing a young boy like Alec climbing up such a scary mountain was so inspiring but also worrisome. And Zoroa is basically a baby Pokemon that was forced into such a life-threatening situation. But anyways, not only did Alec help Zoroa pushing him up the mountain, but Zoroa also helped Alec. Can we have a best adorable Pokemon award already? Hisuian Zora deserves it. It provided Alec with a bunch of medicinal leeks, which tastes disgusting. Alec can attest to that. But not only did Zora bear this taste, it treated Alec's wound too. This is the power of the relationship between humans and Pokemon. Ah, such a cute moment. Also, this just proves leeks can treat human wounds in addition to Pokemon wounds from the game Legends Arceus. Anyways, parents always have to ruin the fun for their kids. Once Alec finds his father, he rushes in for a hug. Unfortunately, his dad notices the Hisuian Zora and expresses hostility towards the young Pokemon. Honestly, this was a very tough scene to watch, going from Alec and Zora cultivating such a precious bond only for it to shatter in a heartbeat. Hisuian Zora also appears and of course expresses its disdain towards humans. Looks like nothing has changed. And nothing changes for a while because we flash forward to the present time with an older Alec returning to Hisui, just like in the opening scene. Everything has come full circle. And then we see something new happen. A Garchomp spawns in a space-time distortion. If only this happened in the games, cause then Alpha Garchomp would truly be a menace. I wonder how this plays into Alec and Hisuian Zoro's story. Looking forward to the next episode, maybe we could see Alec trying his best to help Alpha Garchomp, only for him to fail. From there, Hisuian Zoro comes to Alec's rescue, where they reunite and remember each other. Seriously, the two need more moments together. Or rather, I need to see more moments of the two together. This thing gives me diabetes. Though, it's also unfortunate how we didn't get to see Alec's dad nor Hisuian Zoroark learn to understand one another and move on from previous tragedies and prejudices. It would be cool if the next episode could address this at least partially. Also, Volo is back. I would love to see him have a bigger role in the next episode. Regardless, I'm sure episode 3 will be just as good as the previous two, if not better. Anyways, thanks for watching.